Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Clifford Chu, and it's time for the Easy Easy News on ICRT. The Thai X opened up 28 points this morning from yesterday's close at 82.15 on turnover of 3 billion NT. The Taipei District Prosecutor's Office yesterday said it planned to summon President Ma ying as a witness in an investigation into allegations that Prosecutor General Huang Shiming ordered illegal wiretaps. The Prosecutor's Office is refusing comment on its investigation into the actions of Huang and the Special Investigation Division, but reports are claiming Ma could be called to appear as early as tomorrow. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Justice yesterday set up a special panel to probe the illegal wiretapping allegations against the Special Investigation Division. The team was assembled by Order of Minister of Justice Luo ying Xue, who was sworn in on Monday. It is scheduled to hold its first meeting today. The Taizong Prosecutor's Office has detained City Council Secretary General Chen Jen Kai, his wife, and 51 other suspects on corruption charges. The move follows allegations Chen took kickbacks totaling 96 million NT from construction companies bidding for city government tenders, including a new city government building. Chen remains in detention, but his wife has now been released on bail of 200,000 NT. The presidential office yesterday denied charges President Ma ying ordered the Ministry of Justice to reprimand a prosecutor who had indicted him in 2007 on graft charges. The denial follows allegations Ma ordered the ministry to reprimand former prosecutor Ho Kwang Ren. Ho indicted Ma in 2007 on embezzlement charges during his tenure at Taipei City Mayor. Ma was eventually cleared of any wrongdoing, but only after Ho had taken his case to both the High and Supreme Courts. The U.S. Affordable Care Act, the legislation at the heart of the federal government shutdown, has been officially launched with millions of Americans without health insurance now able to buy plans and seek subsidies. Demand for so-called Obamacare coverage has been high on the first day, with some websites set to sell up insurance crashing due to too many visitors. Mary McCarthy reports from Denver. President Nicolas Maduro said that Venezuela will not have cordial relations with the United States as long as the U.S. diplomats continue what he alleges are attempts to destabilize his country. He said new points of contact can be established, but only if Washington ends such activity. Maduro's tough talk came a day after he announced the expulsion of the top U.S. diplomat in Venezuela, Kelly Keterling, and two other embassy officials, alleging they conspired with the extreme right to sabotage the economy and power grid. The United States once again rejected the allegations that is trying to destabilize the South American nation. Venezuela's government declared Kiedeling, the embassy's political officer, and the consular officer, consular officer persona non gratis and gave them 48 hours to leave Venezuela. The allegations were related to the U.S. embassy's workers' travel to Bolivar State, which is home to troubled state-owned foundries and Venezuela's main hydroelectric plant. And finally, a man from one of the lowest-lying nations on Earth is trying to convince New Zealand judges that he is a refugee, suffering not from persecution, but from climate change. The 37-year-old and his wife left his remote atoll in the Pacific nation of Kiribati six years ago for higher ground and better prospects in New Zealand, where their three children were born. Immigration authorities have twice rejected his argument that rising sea levels make it too dangerous for him and his family to return to Kiribati. And finally, let's take a look at the weather across Taiwan. According to the Central Weather Bureau, we can expect partly cloudy skies and scattered showers in the Taipei area with a high of 29, mostly clear skies in the center with a high of 32 in Taizong, and partly cloudy skies with scattered afternoon thunder showers in the south and a high of 32 in Kaohsiung. Current temperatures are Taipei, 27, Taizong, 28, Kaohsiung, 29.